quarter, entered the second half, down by two. Now they have the seven point lead, so they've already outscored Leroy by nine points. There you go for that mental math, Ross. And they are just locking off Hall. Finally, he gets the ball. And a nice finish. The turn around. Yeah, he could have even given him maybe a foul there. Hall's really taking a beating down there in the lane. And Coach Tom Hall, I'm sure, is letting the officials know that, you know, he's getting touched up a little bit. Great possession there by the Panthers. About 20 seconds, they get the high percentage shot. It, regardless, it was in traffic, but. That's exactly what you want, Ross. As a coach, playing on a team, you call a timeout for a reason. One, to stop the momentum, but two, you need to draw up a play to get you some points. Knights letting it tick a little bit. Sanders rolls around to receive the handoff. Now he gets some space back out, and Fieldcrest will hold for one final shot. And you have Brady Sanders, six foot, going up against the six foot five Seth Ward. Curtis from three, no good. Up and back in for field press, that, That's just a muscle rebound from Caleb Garber in the third quarter. Seth Ward was right there to grab it, but Garber wrestled it away. There's his teammates play behind him. But even if you are Leroy here, this is a, a quality. I mean, this is a very good team that came into your gym and they traded blows with them back and forth. Leroy looking for a basket, five seconds, they trail by six. No, fires, misses, out of bounds, and this one goes to Fieldcrest, but a great game from start to finish. The Knights stay undefeated in the conference, now 5-0, and oh, and Blake, that was just great, great basketball to kick off our season here. Couldn't have asked for a better game. Both teams had a chance, traded leads, until Fieldcrest finally came out on top. So a six-point victory for the visiting team, but Leroy, as Coach Hall said, that may have been their best showing all season. Looking forward to see how they can build on that when they fall to seven and nine. We will go to a quick break and be back with head coach Winkler from Fieldcrest and our player of the game. Stay with us.